Can everybody hear me okay? <laughs> okay, um, can, I, can I welcome everybody to um, Rural Met College uh, for this special cabinet. Um, uh, my name is Phil Davis, I'm, I'm leader of the council, surrounded by my, my co cabinet colleagues. Um, we've just got a few preliminary uh, things we need to uh, get through and then we'll get into the main, um, main business. Um, so uh, I'm going to welcome everybody to this special cabinet and item one is a member's code of conduct. Uh, do, do any cabinet members wish to declare uh, any, any interest? Stuart. Uh, thank you, Phil. Uh, I speak uh, prejudicial interest uh, by virtue of being the leader of the board director of the Gentle Living Council this point. Okay. Thanks, Stuart. So let's do one part. Okay, so um, I'll uh, we'll go on to item two, which is obviously our main main item, which is Will Growth Company, and we've got a um, a report, a detailed report um, to consider. I just want to say a few uh, a few words by way of introduction. I know my my, my colleagues will uh, will add add to that. Can I can I just start by by sort of thanking everybody for turning up today? It's, it's great to see. Um, so many businesses here. So many of our, so many of our businesses have come to uh, to attend this meeting and and, and support the uh, the concept of establishing a growth company. Can I say a big thank you to Sue Higginson, principal of Rural Med College, uh, for hosting us today, Sue. Many thanks. And as a former student of Rural Med College, it's um, it's my my pleasure to, to to be in this building. And I think it's. Today is, is an historic day, and I think it's about setting a, a really strong message about, you know, we really want to um, take this borough forward around creating jobs, bringing new investments, creating opportunities for our young people. And that's why I think it's fitting that this meeting is at the college, because, you know, my hope and belief is that what we're announcing today will benefit the young people who, who study at Wirral Met and thousands of other young people in the borough. And, you know, um, not the great one for cliches, but, but this is about leaving a lasting legacy for, for our children, for our grandchildren. Um, and and I've, I'm so excited that we reached our, the day today. Uh, I've said for, for a long time now, um, when we launched our, our Wirral 2020 plan in um, 2015, that uh, all local authorities are under huge financial pressures, we, we, we know that. But that can never be an excuse for um, doing nothing, for just accepting that we've got big financial problems and we can't be ambitious. I, I've never, I don't think anybody in the cabinet or administration have accepted that that's an excuse for just throwing your hands up in the air and saying, you know, um, we, we can't move forward. So we have been absolutely uh, clear that we wanted to really raise our game in terms of regenerating this, this borough. And this is a borough of amazing assets and, and opportunities. And we would be remiss in our duty as the administration if we didn't take advantage of those opportunities. And I think now is, is, the, is the time uh, that we, we can start to put the pieces into place. So. Um, the meeting today is to agree formally our, our joint venture partner uh, to take forward the, the new vehicle, the World Growth Company, to deliver um, really sustainable and um, uh, genuine regeneration. And, and I'm delighted that we've reached this point. Um, in, the, in the 2020 plan uh, that we, we launched a few years ago, we announced very ambitious targets about jobs, investment, uh, housing, um, and, and I believe that the uh, announcement today around the growth company uh, will, will enable us to, to meet those, those pledges. So, a really great day. So just to remind people about the process we've been through. So in June of last year, um, the, the council agreed to create a joint venture with a private sector partner. And we recognised in doing that that the council can't do any of this on our own. You know, we haven't got the resources, we haven't got the expertise. 
So we need to partner with um, the others who have, who can bring that to the table. And I've said many times as well, you know, the council, the council's not the, the, the organisation to create jobs, to, to invest, businesses do that. The job of the council is to create the environment, to create a favourable environment so that businesses want to invest in rural and want to expand. And, and that what, that's what this uh, announcement is about. So we began this, this process um, um, in June of last year. We were clear that we wanted to see a new model for how we did regeneration. So we're moving away from in the past where we just, on a pretty ad hoc basis, you know, sold a piece of land, got a short-term capital receipt, and then that was the last benefit we saw from that. This is a completely different model where we um, put our assets, our land and assets, into a, a growth company, and our private sector developer investor partner brings the, uh, the resources and the expertise. So that, that for me is a perfect partnership. Um, and that's how we can take this, uh, this borough forward, in, you know, in spite of all the financial challenges that we, we've had. So um, that was the kind of thinking behind this new model. Um, so we wanted to have a partner who would bring those, those assets, those, those, that funding, the expertise, to the table. Um, we're also clear that this would be a 50-50 um, share of risk and rewards with, with equal representation on the board from, from local authority and, and our uh, partner. Um, that we would have a, the council would have a veto on what gets built, where and when. Um, and we were also clear this is what this was not about the council selling off its assets. It absolutely, is not about that. It's about us um, using our assets more creatively, more effectively to get a long-term, regular revenue stream into the council, so that we can continue to fund our, our vital public services. So this is a completely new way um, of doing things. We were very clear from the start that we wanted to see this partnership deliver some really important social goals. So, for example, around local employment for local people. Um, and I'm really, uh, really pleased that the policy that we are committed to as part of this announcement today, buying local, hiring local, we've got a, a target of 60% of local sourcing. And I think benefiting local people, uh, the lo local businesses, is, is really, really important uh, in, in delivering this, this new uh, way of, of, of regenerating the, um, the borough. So, uh, we are at the stage today where the competition has now been completed, and uh, we are here today to formally recommend, uh, I'm going to uh, formally make the announcement now, that we will be formally recommending news developments as the preferred bidder. And, um, I think that's fantastic news for, for Wirral. Muse um, is one of the country's leading names in uh, urban regeneration, and I'm really looking forward to working with them. So um, that's the formal kind of bit of the announcement that, that we need today, make today in the recommendation. So if we agree, and I'm sure we will agree the recommendation in a moment, the next stage is we want to engage with local businesses, with our local residents, um, about the, 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 the detailed plans that we want to bring forward. We're hoping to do that um, by the summer. Uh, and I am very keen, and the officers will, will, will always, um, uh, uh, I always always challenge our officers about delivery. Uh, I'm, I'm obsessed with delivery. I'm not a great fan of process. My, my, uh, my real ambition, and I'm sure we'll do this, is to have spades in the ground um, before the end of 2018. I, I really think that's, that's uh, deliverable. Um, I think the other great thing about this Wirral Growth Company, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cover the whole of the Wirral. This is not just about Birkenhead. This is about all parts of Wirral. So, so phase one includes Birkenhead, Seacombe, Bromborough, Bevington, <coughs> It's, it's a, generally a worldwide uh, initiative, and, and I think that's great news. It means everybody will, will benefit <laughs> in, in our residence. So um, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. And just a special word as well about New Ferry. Um, New Ferry suffered a, an awful tragedy uh, almost this time last year with that dreadful gas explosion. Um, I, I can see. Um, 
one of the world councillors in the uh, in the audience today. Um, and uh, people are still reeling from that tragedy uh, in New Ferry. And um, I'm pl I was proud uh, that the council was able to um, spend somewhere in the region of 300,000 of its reserves to, to help in the immediate aftermath of that tragedy. People were literally uh, made homeless, businesses were destroyed, um, people are still recovering. Uh, and I think uh, it's important that the growth company, uh, as part of its priorities, includes New Ferry. So New Ferry, I know they feel uh, neglected, I'm sorry the government haven't put more money, uh, put any money into New Ferry, but my pledge today is that the growth company will not leave behind that community. New Ferry will be part of the growth company's plans. Uh, I just want to send that message out to that community that we will not leave you behind. So I think that's important just to, to make that point. Um, okay, I've just got a few concluding uh, remarks, really. Uh, and that's to say, I, I do really believe that the growth, World Growth Company will be a game changer. It will be a game changer for this borough. Uh, this is an historic day. It will create thousands of jobs. It will drive huge growth in our local economy and help fund public services by having that regular um, new income stream to the council. And we know, you know the importance of replacing the money that we've lost um, over the last few years. Oh, I want to I want to just end by by really saying a, a huge thank you to all of the particularly our officers um, who've been involved in, in this growth company initiative. I mean the the amount of hours that our team has has put in and, and it, it'd be invidious to to name in any individual so you know they know who they are they're in the, the room today but you know as leader of the council they have you know. Gone, gone beyond the extra mile. There's no question about that. And um, you know, I, I just want to say a, a huge thank you to them. without that team, um, you know, the, the legal experts, the regeneration experts, the asset management experts. You know, all of the all of those talents and skills, um, we would not be here today. So uh, you know, a massive thank you. I'm sure my, my other cabinet colleagues would join me and say a massive thank you to the to the officer team. Who've, who've got us to the situation where, where we are today. And I think in, in closing, and then I'll open it up to other cabinet members. I mean, I just kind of reflected last night when I was uh, thinking about the, um, the, the event today. Um, you know, we've got some, we've got a pipeline of really exciting projects um, on the, in, in the growth company, um, you know, around uh, some of the, the, the key sites that, that, we, that we, we, uh, we have in rural. Um, you know that, that includes the opportunity to do something around Birkenhead Town Centre. Um, and can I just say personally, and people get tired of me banging on about a new market. You know, when I was a kid, the market was the iconic facility that people came for miles around to see. To have a a new market, an upgraded offer, you know, to to bring that wild factor back again would be would be great. That's one of my personal ambitions. The opportunities around historic Hamilton Square, Woodside with the iconic views over to Liverpool. But also the the, the opportunities in, in areas like Seacum, we know but we're, we're touching wood and everything we can about Eureka coming to Seacum. That's fun. if we get that that'd be fantastic uh, a catalyst for regeneration. Um, there are brilliant opportunities in the growth company and phase one projects I think to really um, do some, some fantastic regeneration schemes. We know, don't we, because we announced one of the projects earlier in the week, that uh, we've, we've got some exciting developments on rural waters. Um, we announced a residential uh, scheme um, uh, a few days ago in Cabinet. We know we've got some other really exciting projects, the Maritime College Hub, the Skills Factory, uh, brand new office development. Um, so I think in terms of the regeneration plans, it's really exciting. But, but also, I, I also just want to, and then I will shut up, um, I, I want to just sort of also reflect on the, the fantastic business community, because I know a lot of them are here today. We, we have one of the most dynamic business communities I've ever come across. You know, and um, uh, some of us were at an event last night for a new uh, company, a Romanian company called Modpack, that were, that are going to make the uh, Wirral their uh, 
UK global headquarters. And you know, the, the Romanian ambassador came up for that and, and you know he was he was waxing lyrical about Wirral. So Wirral is increasingly seen as the probably the one of those business friendly places in the UK. And I think that the fact that we've got some fantastic companies here, um, you know, John, it's great to see you from Cavaliers, Somnat from Typhoon, and Steve from uh, the contact company. That uh, that gives me confidence that, that you know we have got a product here that people want to buy into. And I want to pay tribute to Paul Basnett, she's chief exec of the Royal Chamber of Commerce. Paul, you do a fantastic job in terms of uh, again knocking on doors day in day out, banging the drum for Wirral. Um, and I think you know it's no it's no accident that the chamber is the biggest growing chamber in the UK. Uh, so I I think all of the pieces in the jigsaw. <coughs> Um, our business community that are already here, um, the the, the uh, offer that we can we can uh, present to our businesses, um, the uh, plans that were announced this morning, I think we are set fair for a, a decade of growth that is a, will be unprecedented. So I think um, I probably just will stop at that point and. Um, say thank you again for everybody for coming. <coughs> this is really a, a, a wonderful day. And I'm going to now open this up because I know my cabinet colleagues want to, uh, want to say a few words. So I'm going to start with George Davis, Deputy Leader. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, as Phil has already outlined, I'm sure that every one of my colleagues on, on the top table here would turn around and say it's a nostalgic day. It's something that I've been waiting for for a long, 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 long time. Um, 30 years, I would say. I've been counselor now, and other than 30 years, I've always been looking for that inspiration to take us forward. <coughs> Most importantly, to be here this morning in this building where young people are being given the opportunity, the chance to take an apprenticeship, to work their way through, and the golden opportunities that are coming with them, if I can just make one point. Uh, I was asked a question recently because I'm, my portfolio is housing. <coughs> is um, how many people do you believe is on the site? And I said about 80, 90 people at any one time. And the answer came back, yeah. But when this takes off, we'll be talking about three and a half thousand people. So as I look on my office window in the Bosley Town Hall, I look across the sky with envy at Liverpool, and I see all them cranes. I just want to see exactly that here on the world. So we are facing huge uh, government mandated housing targets in the coming months and years. We've got to be imaginative, creative and more entrepreneurial in our approach if we're going to have any chance of providing this and future generations with the housing options that they need. Developments like the ones proposed here on, on existing employment, retail and brownfield sites are so very, very important. They create new communities, they re revitalise neighbourhoods and high streets, and they are a massive help as we seek to protect Wills Greenbelt from the government's housing targets. And at that point, Phil, I think I'd like to say um, I really welcome everything that's come forward. I thank everyone who's had an involvement in it, and I look forward to the next decade. Thank okay, you. thanks George. Okay, so Bernie Mooney, Deputy Leader of Cabinet and for Children. <coughs> okay, good uh, morning everybody. I don't know, when um, Phil was talking about Clerk Ned Barber before, and uh, I'm old enough to remember Eli, so I don't know if any of you He always brings a smile to people's face, Eli. Hopefully we'll be seeing another Eli soon in Birkenhead. <laughs> um, I think, was it um, Steve Phelps tells a story about buying some yellow trousers, some yellow <laughs> bell bottom trousers off Eli, Eli yeah, at one point. He, he's still wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a, a really, really, really brilliant opportunity for the world. I think it's the most exciting opportunity the world has ever seen. And as Phil has already said, there's people from all over the country who are bringing us daily to, to come up and, 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 and invest in the world. But for me, with my portfolio, it's a really, really difficult political environment for young people at this present moment in time. Um, aspirations and hope for the future is, is thin on the ground, I think, for young people. Um, but we're sitting here in Wirral Mets, 
which is a place that gives young people opportunity. And what we're doing, as not just as a cabinet or as a council, but as a community, is we're investing in not just the world, we're investing in our young people. There's going to be thousands of job opportunities here. There's going to be affordable housing. There's going to be everything that a young person needs to, to grow and bring their family up on the world. So for me, this is not just important for today, it's important for the future, it's important for, for going forward. Um, it's difficult to prosper at this present moment in time because of austerity. And I think, I'm not going to blow our own trumpets, but I think we've done quite well as a, as, as, as a, a council to, to be able to sustain the things we've sustained and get to the, the place we're at. But this is a really good opportunity for us to invest and to make sure that the voice of our children from the day they're born right the way through their lives is invested in everything that we do. So, you know, I, I, I thank the officers. It's so exciting. It's not very many opportunities you get as a politician to be really excited and really positive, but this is definitely one. So, um, I, I, obviously everybody here is going to say definitely gets to go ahead for this, but I hope everybody is a, as enthusiastic as I am. And you can look at your children and your grandchildren and you know there's going to be a future for them here in the world because there's going to be plenty of opportunities for them to grow and for them to aspire to whatever it is they, they want to be. So, you know, I'm all in favour of this and, and bring it on and let's get on with it as quickly as we can. Thanks, baby. Okay, let's go next. I don't want to go next. Go on, okay. Um, Councillor Angie Davis, Cabinet uh, <coughs> Member of Transformation. Oh, thanks, Phil. As, as Bernie said, this is just so, so exciting. I kind of, I hardly sat last night, I was so excited about today. So it's it's a culmination of two years, really, really um, hard work. Um, there's kind of been a kind of really detailed, um, forensic examination of what's possible um, and, and what we can achieve. Um, I know that all different models, all different approaches have been looked at to help regenerate um, our, our borough, um, to create houses, to create bustling high streets, to create jobs, um, uh, apprenticeships, um, and, and the growth that our borough so desperately needs. So we've come up with this, this joint venture, we've gone through that. Um, procurement process which has been very thorough um, and well designed the, the bids that we got were absolutely exceptional um, I really enjoyed kind of um, looking through and then the uh, outcome is going to be truly <coughs> transformational for individuals for families um, for businesses and for the communities in our borough so to conclude, I just want to say that I'm so proud um, of, of all this hard work and I want to echo the huge thanks to everybody who's been involved <coughs> and contributed. Thank you. Thanks, Angie. Okay, uh, Councillor Chris Jones, Cabinet Member for Health and Social Health, Social Care. Thank you, Phil. Um, this is a really exciting day and I don't think we should underestimate how big this is going to be for Wirral. Um, for, for me and my portfolio, the Wirral Growth Company is going to deliver something which is going to immediately change lives for people. Uh, people, our older residents and people with disabilities. Uh, there's a plan to build a, an extra care housing scheme in Morton which is in a, a, a really well connected place and it's got so many amenities. And, and for me, that this is just really fantastic news. It encourages people to live as ind independently as they can, for as long as they can, in their own homes. And Will has been crying out for, for developments like this. And with the council setting the terms and laying out the direction, we'll be able to properly shape what the borough will look like in the future. And the Will Growth Company means if we need an extra care housing scheme, for instance, we'll be able to go ahead and do it. We won't have to put it out to the market and wait for five years for, for somebody to come forward. So it's incredibly powerful and it means we can do so much more for our, our residents 
As a Sikkim councillor, I am really delighted that my ward is part of first phase. Um, and I know that the growth company will give massive opportunities for everybody on the will. Really pleased. Thanks, Chris. Okay, who's next? Matthew, okay, Councillor Matthew Patrick, Council Member for Community Engagement. Matthew. Thank you, Phil, and, and hello, everybody. I think the message is really clear going out here that world's next age of regeneration starts now. I think this agreement is profound and huge. Um, but this is regeneration not done to the world, it's done by the world, by our partners. And I think we can see that with the people in the room today. I'm delighted that everybody in here and everybody outside of this room is going to be part of shaping what the future of rural looks like. We've got our local partners, we've got the chamber, we've got some of our big businesses here, some of our smaller businesses here, some of our residents, our journalists, our councillors. This is absolutely what the future of rural is about. Gone are the days when the worst part of generation regeneration was the private company just doing stuff to an area. We're going to be able to shape that and I'm excited for that partnership. It's vital that rural residents and businesses are informed, engaged and ready to have their say on the future of these plans. Um, every development will have full public debate, scrutiny and consultation. I think this is a truly exciting opportunity to give unprecedented influence to rural residents and businesses over the future of our borough. As a cabinet member for localism and engagement, I can give a commitment to every resident on the Wirral that they will have their chance to put forward their views on each and every new development. I think this will deliver more than regeneration. It will empower residents and businesses to shape the future of our borough, and I am truly excited for our future. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Matthew. Okay, and now I'll go to Councillor Jeanette Williamson, Cabinet Member for Finance and Income Regeneration. Okay. Hey, thanks, Phil. Can I just say as well, I'm really, really happy to be here because I also was a student in Rural West and then I came back to teach as well. Two years. Yeah, yeah. Very well. It's fantastic. It's really great. And also, you know, it's a really great opportunity to talk rural because, quite frankly, so many people talk it down. It's beyond me why because it's just such a fantastic place. Um, I'm really, really, really excited about this. A bit like Angie, I was there yeah. as a sleeper this night yeah. because it's such a fantastic thing to be part of. You know, the, the opportunity for young people, for jobs, for economic growth, for regeneration. I mean, I've just been through the budget setting process for Rural Council and it's, it was really, really difficult because of the government cuts, really difficult, more sleepless nights. Um, and to have this fantastic growth company, which I know will bring uh, money into the council, um, because we're, what, what's happening is that we're going to have our revenue support bank cut completely in 2021. We need to be on the front foot, and that's exactly what we are. We're helping create a dynamic economy and increase the revenue coming back into the council. So I'm really, really pleased about that. It's not a silver bullet, but it certainly goes a long way to put Wirral on the map, to um, create an environment where businesses will want to come and invest here, and that's what we're going to see. So I, I wholeheartedly support this. Thanks, uh, thanks, Jeanette. So, uh, Councillor Chris Spriggs now, Cabinet Member for Delivering deliver Differently. Thank you, Phil. Hope everybody can hear me. It's great to be with you all this morning. Um, looking out on our fantastic view, what an amazing view for us, and just underpins everything we're sort of talking about in a way. Now, only two weeks ago, we launched Imagine Wirral, Wirral's year of culture, creativity, art, and ideas and the biggest and most ambitious programme of cultural uh, activities, initiatives, projects and events that we've ever delivered. Over the year, we'll be supporting and profiling um, the world's uh, amazing creative community and welcoming many hundreds of thousands of visitors to our world to experience the rich cultural and creative offer that Imagine We're All has been celebrating and will continue to celebrate. And as somebody who was a Saturday girl in the country stores at Birkenhead Market going back uh, many, many years, uh, I'm also really excited and thrilled about the, the news about, about the market. Um, now, um, the World Growth Company gives us the opportunity to do something truly spectacular, but not just in the long term, also right now. Um, so, for example, we're already working with Wirral's creative community, and some of those creatives are here, I'm glad to say, today, to find imaginative, creative, meanwhile use 
for a range of sites and spaces, uh, and, and giving, those, and giving uh, local artists, as well as nationally and internationally known and renowned artists, creative entrepreneurs and cultural organisations, opportunities to make and lead change and renewal, develop high quality artistic and creative programmes, as well as the creation of jobs, skills development, and the establishment of new creative hubs, networks, and businesses. It's really thrilling. So, I'm really excited, as you can hear in my voice, about uh, the future that we're going to have uh, working uh, in partnership with Rural Growth Company. Um, really, really, very, very um, uh, uh, proud to be part of the work that's been done, and you know, very, very pleased to, to say congratulations to those who worked so hard to make this happen and, and get us to where we are today. And you know, very excited about the journey ahead. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. And last, but by no means least, Councillor Phil Brightmore, Cabinet Member for Environment. Thanks, Phil. You know, we all feel a bit excited differently, and like my colleagues, I'm excited about this. I actually slept very well last night. <laughs> <laughs> Safe in the knowledge that we were finally moving in the right direction and in the right way. This partnership isn't about selling off our environment, it's about working in a partnership to improve it. And the impact this could have upon our public realm is absolutely remarkable. I think it'll really help us realise our dream of becoming the greenest borough in this region. Hundreds of thousands of people will visit Wirral, will build thousands of new homes, new residents, and we're going to be a community that will keep growing and create 3,000 new jobs. That's, that's remarkable. In the climate currently, following years of recession, to be able to save out here is truly something that I'm proud of. I can't remember a bigger, better news story coming out of this council. We should all be very proud of what we've, we've achieved up to this point and where we're going to be going together. I think it's important, I think it's imperative that we all get behind this new partnership <coughs> and really deliver on those opportunities that we've laid for us. Thanks for Right, okay, so um, I think that's the, uh, the, the, the contributions from all, all my colleagues that, that we wanted to make. So I need, need to, uh, to do the formal, the formal bit now, and I'll uh, look into my, my learned colleague, Mr. McCourt, to keep me in line on this one, Phil. Um, so I'm going to ask the camera to look at um, the recommendations on page four. Uh, yes, Lou, so it's the recommendations on page four, and you uh, may wish to move them as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, I will move them as a block and uh, to make clear that um, uh, Muse is our, our preferred bidder. Make that clear in recommendations. Okay, so uh, it, is that seconded? Seconded. Great. Can I see all those in favour? <laughs> okay, that is unanimous. Um, so that concludes the business. Can I just uh, finish the meeting by thanking you all once again for coming today. I know you've all got really busy, busy diaries. I really appreciate the time that you've given up. Uh, and a big thank you to uh, Royal Met College um, for hosting us. I think the symbolism of having the cabinet meeting here, because uh, this yes. is about benefiting our young people, yes. is yeah. really important. So soon, many thank you to you for um, for being such a gracious host and giving us all the uh, facilities here. So thank you very much. Uh, just uh, remains for me to again thank everybody for their attendance, uh, and at this point I will uh, I will say this is the start of an exciting journey. Uh, really looking forward to working with all of our partners, um, and, and you know I think we are set for a really uh, exciting and dynamic few years. So thank you again for coming and our close meeting. Thank you. Thank you for your attendance. Thank you. Thank you.